Welcome to WCSU Library Tutorials. In this video, you'll learn what plagiarism is and how to avoid it. Universities, including WCSU, have strict policies in place that prohibit plagiarism in research papers. Penalties can range from receiving a failing grade to expulsion, so learning how to protect yourself is important. But in the simplest terms, plagiarism is taking credit for someone else's ideas and or words. And the simplest way to avoid plagiarizing is to provide citations in your paper whenever you use direct quotations, verifiable facts, or paraphrase someone else's words. A common misperception by students is that citations are needed only when quoting directly. That is not true. Citations are needed even if you take information from a source and put it into your own words. Rephrasing information or an idea does not make it belong to you. So, providing citations is the best way to protect yourself from accusations of plagiarism. But citations provide another meaningful contribution to research papers. They point the reader to the actual source of the information. If someone is interested in learning more about that source, in-text citations point them to where to find it. Whenever you provide either a direct quotation or specific information, you must provide what's called an in-text citation. An in-text citation is exactly that, a citation that appears right in the text. It's an abbreviated version of the full citation that will appear in your bibliography. That's why all in-text citations must have a corresponding full citation in the paper's bibliography. There are different guidelines for how to include in-text citations, and they depend on whether you are following the APA, MLA, or Chicago formats. Playing it safe by adding in-text citations, even when you're not sure if one is needed, is a good preventative measure. It's always better to cite something when it's unneeded than not cite something when it is. Meanwhile, learning how to paraphrase correctly is an important feature of research. This is because it reduces the number of direct quotations and demonstrates to your professor your ability to interpret and synthesize information. A paper filled with direct quotations will not achieve a successful grade because it will not demonstrate your interpretation of the material. To learn how to paraphrase information successfully, look for our video, How to Paraphrase. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on plagiarism, paraphrasing, and citing sources, make sure to check out our website, as well as our YouTube page, for more tutorials.